welcome back to another video so let's see i received this command if i click on automatic surface i receive the message selected mesh contains non-manifold vertices so this is regarding uh, the video on how to create closed solid bodies starting from stl so to get started i will download the following file i will put the link in the video description so this is the stanford bunny but this has a cutout over here so let's see i will go to start shape digital shape editor and over here i have the model prepared so i can just click apply and this will have the model loaded now regarding that warning so that let's say not even a warning and a notification is that if I will go to quick surface reconstruction on this mesh and I will try to use the automatic uh, surface we're gonna see that in this case this will uh, contain non-manifolded edges so just like vertices even edges can be non-manifold let's see how to deal with those we need to jump back to digital shape editor and over here we can use mesh cleaner afterwards select the mesh go to analyze and we're gonna see that there are 14 corrupted triangles if um, you're gonna select those they will be marked with uh, white on the mesh so we see that there are multiple um, of those mainly within the cutout region there are also some duplicated triangles 11 and there are 12 non-manifolded edges as that we can see those will all be around the cutout that um, the designer created for this um, emblematic uh, model so the stanford uh, bunny now if i will click apply we're gonna see that all of those have been corrected so that mesh cleaner went over here and um, remeshed that uh, that area and now we're gonna have two vertices non-manifold i could also have them uh, fixed over here but just to show you this i will go back to quick surface reconstruction and now for the automatic surface when i select the mesh i'm gonna have that this um, mesh will contain non-manifolded vertices so the same um, workflow as before select those analyze apply and now the mesh can be taken to the automatic surface if you're gonna go to structure you can go over here and um, we see that for this um, we're gonna have two two connected zones so we have all those uh, gaps over there now in order to fill those you can go to fill hole you can select a specific um, radius over here for example five we see that the um, the whole size will be indicated in green and since this is larger than one of those small gaps they will automatically be closed if you don't want to close a specific um, hole you can just click on those but in order to make this as a solid body we need to convert them all so we have a warning that at least one um, didn't manage to fill which is this one so i'm just going to click ok once again and uh, let's take a look again with mesh mesh cleaner analyze structure split connected zones so we see over here there are some um, some problems on the mesh now i will just um, have this split into two areas because otherwise you won't be able to to process that within um, the following step so split connected zones as uh, distinct click ok and now the mesh will have uh, the first one which is this sub mesh and over here we're going to have another one now since this is quite small you can right click reframe on and katia will zoom in and as we can see there are some uh, triangles over here i will just select those delete them and uh, if i will zoom out again we're going to see that some of the triangles were uh, within that area now again with mesh cleaner analyze structure 
that will be okay. We can go ahead with uh, with this in order to fill them. We see that we still have an area that hasn't been filled. So we still have a triangle over there that uh, hasn't been added. So again, mesh cleaner, analyze. This looks great. So let's take a look if we can fill the, uh, the last hole over here. So that should uh, close that. We still get that warning, but we see that it has been filled now. There are multiple back and forth steps uh, within this workbench. And now we're going to see that there are no more uh, connected. Um, so as you can see, there are no, no more um, areas that can be split into multiple parts. So that means that we can take this sub mesh to the automatic surface. So let me jump over there, automatic surface, select the mesh. And over here, I will just uh, click preview with the default 0.1 for the mean deviation. For the surface detail, I will lower this to 3000. We can also check full internal tangency, but in this case, I won't. So I will click preview now. So now I will wait for this automatic uh, surface to process. Okay, so we see that this has been processed, even though we have the following warning, computation limit, the specific target ratio cannot be achieved, but we see that uh, the surface will be positioned. There are some deviations between the mesh and the surface, but for this case study, the quality of this output mesh, uh, output surface is more than fine. Therefore, I will go to part design, and over here, if I will go to close body, we're going to have that stand for bunny closed. Now, if I will change the shading, we're going to have a solid uh, component over here. That means if I will go with sectioning to the model, we're going to see that uh, this indeed will, uh, will have material on the inside. So we see if we're going to do a section like this. Okay, so I hope that um, this video answered that, uh, that comment. I will also put the video as a comment for that, uh, as a reply to that comment. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this content. I will position a similar video on the left side. I will add the Katia V5 tips and tricks at the top. And I will also put a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.